Minister of Finance, Dr. Nigel Clark, says the recent removal of the general consumption tax on the importation of horses is an investment by the government in the local horse racing industry. Dr. Clark, who was the guest speaker at the recent Thoroughbred Owners and Breeders Association Evening of Excellence, stated he expected the horse racing industry to respond by significantly increasing the local bloodstock. QuickGallop.com and its YouTube channel, the Quick Galloper shares with readers and viewers excerpts of the presentation by the finance minister. Many people don't know that the horse racing industry employs a ton of people in many, many, many jobs. I don't claim to be a horse racing man myself. Minister Samuda keeps me informed. And he's a man, you don't have more horse racing proverbs and puns and riddles and jokes than Minister Carl Samuda. So, a lot of people don't know how deep the horse racing industry is in terms of the types of jobs it supports, the diversity of jobs it supports, and people don't know the potential that it has in Jamaica. The vision that you all know of what is possible, of having an industry that attracts, that is an entertainment center in itself, that attracts patrons who spend, and in order to, for, I mean, that's just the product at the end of the day, but the pipeline of activities that deliver that product in itself, in, in, in themselves, involve lots of economic activity. So as we try to maintain the game. I am very interested, seriously interested, in the sustainable development of the horse racing industry in Jamaica. And we know that there are quite a few challenges and issues. And one of the challenges and issues has been that we, the broodstock in the industry uh, is at a deplorably low level. I was told or informed that way back in 2010, this is, the statistic was something like 10% uh, or thereabouts of the broodstock weren't able to reproduce or thereabouts. And by 2021, that number had jumped to 29%. But of the horses registered with the Racing Commission, the number is even higher. I believe the number is more like 40% of the broodstock. No, that's not good. That is an industry, if we kept it like that, or keep it like that, that is going to run into the ground. Because you need stock in order for the industry to thrive and flourish. And when I looked at the numbers, and I looked at the amount that we collect in GCT from the importation of horses, goats, and pigs combined. So we look at all three, which are suffering in similar ways. So when we looked at the GCT for all three, in the last fiscal year, it showed that the total was six million Jamaican dollars. And so for six million Jamaican dollars, what we were doing is holding back the rejuvenation of an entire industry. And as remarking to another horseman, Keith Duncan, that I enjoy finding these little novelties of policy movements with tremendous leverage, of giving up a small amount with the expectation of gaining a larger amount. I'm not, I'm not into this business for charity. Let me just tell you from now. I'm in this business as an investment. So by Taking the GCT of the importation of horses to replenish the broodstock. This is not a charity. I'm doing it with the expectation, the coffers of government, 
will be made whole multiple times over from the activity that I expect this policy to generate. Am I speaking to the right audience? Yes. Okay. I'm investing again, but this time in your industry. By removing the GCT on the importation of horses, I expect to see significant increases in economic activity in this industry over the medium term. We can import the best thoroughbreds that we can find if there isn't confidence in the integrity of racing then the industry will not grow in the way we want and expect it to. So I want to say tonight that the government will make the required investments in the Racing Commission at the earliest possible opportunity. And I, I can't, it will be irresponsible for me to give you date and time, but I want to tell you the policy intent to ensure that the integrity of the horse racing industry is second to none in the region. And this means that the resources will be available for regular testing at events, of horses that is, according to the established protocols, which are not my area of expertise, to ensure that we have absolute integrity in the races and in the results. And the purpose of this, again, is an investment. An investment that I expect to yield positive return and positive results. So we're going through the procedures to give effect to the announcement I made in my budget presentation about the removal of GCT on the importation of horses. And I'm working towards having this become effective by next month, by the end of next month, which will be the 30th of May. So all those who have their horses identified, I beg you, get them down to Florida and get ready for the ship, all right? Make your arrangements, because effective the 30th of May, and let us just, that's the beginning of June, I expect that you will be in a position to import the new breed stock, which is gonna re rejuvenate the horse racing industry in Jamaica, effective the 30th of May. So, as I said, this is an investment because we are seized of the need to generate domestic economic activity. What's the, and domestic activity is activity among us here, Jamaicans, in addition to creating an environment where racing is at such a high level of integrity, involves such quality horses, that others from the Caribbean are encouraged and incentivized to bring their own horses here to race. And this can once again become an international destination. So the government is doing these two fundamental things. One, a fiscal initiative to make it more affordable to bring horses in. And, and I know that when we remove the GCT in this way, I'm told it reduces the cost of importation by about 28% because of the additional costs that are added to the purchase of the horse. And the in investment that we will make to ensure that the testing regime is consistent, is on time, is thorough, is the other investment that we'll make. But in return, what we want from you is for you to invest in the industry. Invest in financial resources, but also invest in terms of the changes in culture and attitude 
that will be required for Jamaica's horse racing industry to reach the next level. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallop.com, YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for more enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.